Hey folks, this is Stacy with uh, StacyRobinSmith.com on assignment today, and um, I'm doing another shot of my new Pie Top seed that I um, received in the mail a few days ago, actually a couple weeks ago. And uh, this is the box that it came in. As you can see, it says on the box the 14-inch HD screen, adjustable viewing angles, and all that sort of stuff. And there it is, there PyTop.com. And so the box was inside of this sleeve, and whoo, there it is, just like magic. And so inside of the box was this assortment of parts, including Raspberry Pi 3, that they call the um, uh, breadboard, and uh, a bunch of other different uh, parts for adding stuff on. And um, uh, I'm I'm not really a hardware kind of guy, but I'll tell you this was oh and um, this is where the operating system uh, was located on imagine that eh on the micro SD SSD card that uh, was it was in the box but so I'm not really a hardware type of guy but I was um, I was amazed at how um, interest or how simple it was to put this unit together. There's the instruction manual. It was just um, follow the steps, it's like putting together Lego. And um, there's the first two steps. And and next thing you know, I had an operating computer. So I'll put this box aside. There's the um, Pi Top seed. And um, so what we have here is. This is the uh, this is the screen, a 14-inch HD screen, and behind here, oh, as soon as I move the mouse, uh, the screen comes on. It is um, this is the slider down here. So this is where that just comes out. Uh, once I, I've slid, I slid the little cover off, and this piece was already it came installed on the on the on this board and so I didn't have to do anything with this and over here over here this is the the Raspberry Pi this is the what do you call it the, their breadboard and all I had to do was on the back here was can you see down below there by my big fat finger um, there's a little black dot there there and up in each corner there their little tiny feet with magnets on them that I had to put in place. I had to connect this HDMI cable that goes from over here to over here, and then they clip. They then these little these little black feet have a little tiny magnet on the back. Once the magnets are on, then I just went whoop and slipped it into place there, and then I plugged this little bar so that connects the monitor onto the breadboard, and that was it. There's one, two, three, four eight, um, USB um, connectors, and then down here is an Ethernet, uh, an Ethernet um, uh, plug-in. So that, like in this in this situation where I am right now, I do not have Wi-Fi access for this device, and so I'm able to plug in. That's it. That's all I have to do those little feet have they're they're made of plastic and inside of the plastic is a little tiny magnet and it's a pressure fit magnet and I found that <clears throat> the magnets po popped out of the pressure fit and so then this board the board is not is not as secure see 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 how it's moving see it's moving a little bit there right so that magnet is probably not properly affixed to the back of that foot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them out again and um, put a little dab of glue inside of the um, plastic foot and put the magnet on top of the plastic foot so that the magnet and the foot stay together because when I go to plug stuff into here these USBs are quite um, the, the connection is quite stiff and so when I push stuff in there it pushed the little breadboard over a little bit <clears throat> but that being said, it's it was almost like putting Lego together. It was so uh, so straightforward. So that being said, about the construction of the uh, 
PyTOP seed and how I've uh, put it together, which was quite empowering, as I might have mentioned. Um, over Now I'm looking at the actual interface of where I would use it as a computer user. And so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, similar, similar display. Down here is the um, menu button, so you click that and then it opens up and the uh, different options pop up. In the office here, you got the different applications that are available. So you have base, which is a database, calculator type thing, draw for your artistic people, the impress, don't know what that one does. Oh, oh impress, sorry, that's like the uh, PowerPoint slides type of thing. Math, for doing math. And the writer is if you're going to be creating Word documents. So click, opens up, and if you can see across the top, the toolbars are strikingly similar to Google Docs or Microsoft Word, that type of, um, those type of applications. And uh, go up in the corner, same sort of thing. Click, close. It's, uh, it's, it's fast. It's a fast little device. Um, I, I, I'm, quite, I'm quite impressed. It's, uh, I, I, I see this as being useful in an uh, educational setting, but there's a couple things that I mentioned. The, um, the quality of um, the finish on these little feet, that needs to be addressed so that it um, doesn't move around because this um, that moves around too much. And the they're inexpensive, but that means that they're also um, th there's not a lot of money put into uh, put into the, in the, the construction. So there's the where the power supply goes into there. And then this back here, sorry for the jiggly camera, this is the power button. and so it is a, it is just a, a little plastic thing, and when you press the plastic thing, I come back around here, and what it does is that when you press on the outside, you're pressing on the outside of this thing here, and it connects to there, which starts the power surging through the unit. And when I pressed on this out here, it really did feel very uh, flimsy. And so, if we were going to use these in an educational setting, you have to be aware that they are not they're not robust in their construction. That's how I would put it. And so if you've got kids who, or students who are being rough with them or not as careful as somebody who's put their own 99 bucks into it, well then I'm not sure if that's how long they're going to last because those little things are going to be uh, those will be the first things that go. However, that being said, I think this is a very clever idea, and perhaps if we each kid had their own, instead of the bring your own device, you could build your own device, this might be a way for getting more computers into the hands of learners for a very, very reasonable price. Okay, so that's it for today. That's a more in focus look at the pie top seed. This is Stacy with StacyRobinSmith.com and I uh, will um, talk to you again soon. Bye for now.